Building a remote-controlled airplane inspired by Boeing aircraft is a rewarding and educational project. Whether you are an enthusiast wanting to recreate the sleek lines of the Boeing 747 or a beginner eager to learn the basics of aviation, this process combines creativity, engineering, and practical skills. In this guide, we will walk you through the basic steps to design, build, and fly your own Boeing-style remote-controlled airplane while providing tips, important notes, and best practices throughout the process. To begin, the first decision you will make is choosing which Boeing model to simulate. Classic options include the iconic Boeing 747, famous for its distinctive hump and four engines or the modern and efficient Boeing 787 Dreamliner. This choice affects the scale, complexity, and materials you will use. Beginners may choose a simplified version of a Boeing aircraft, focusing on capturing the overall shape and proportions while keeping construction easier. The next step is to plan your design. Start by gathering reference images and, if possible, the design or three-dimensional diagram of the selected Boeing aircraft. Study carefully the wingspan, fuselage shape, tail structure, and engine placement. For remote-controlled aircraft, balancing realism and functionality is very important. Although it is possible to replicate accurately to scale, simplifying some details, especially the landing gear, or complex engine compartments can make construction easier and the aircraft more stable in flight. When it comes to materials, foam is the top to choice for most model makers. Lightweight, durable, and easy to cut, foam sheets or expanded polystyrene, EPS, allow you to shape the fuselage and wings with minimal tools. To increase re realism and durability, consider reinforcing key areas with carbon fiber rods or wooden beams. The fuselage can be built as a hollow shell, providing ample space to house electronics, while the wings should be sturdy yet flexible to withstand the stresses of flight. Start building with the wings. Boeing airplanes are famous for their swept back wing design which helps increase stability and efficiency. Carefully sketch the wing outline onto your foam, cut it into shape, and sand the leading and trailing edges to create a smooth aerodynamic surface. Insert a support rod, which can be a wooden stick or a carbon fiber rod, along the length of each wing to increase stiffness. If you want more of a challenge, you can design an upward curved wingtip called a winglet, which adds a realistic touch and improves flight performance by reducing drag. Next, assemble the airplane body. Using your reference diagrams, cut the foam parts to fit the contours of the Boeing model you have chosen. Assemble these parts with hot glue or foam safe glue, ensuring a snug fit and a smooth outer surface. Pay special attention to the nose and tail sections, as these are distinctive features of Boeing airplanes and contribute to both the appearance and aerodynamics of the plane. For the cockpit windows, you can use black paint or decals to recreate the characteristic shape of the Boeing cockpit. The tail section includes the horizontal stabilizer and the vertical fin. Cut and shape them from foam ensuring the proportions are suitable for the aircraft body and align them accurately. To increase stability, reinforce the tail with light rods or beams. Securely attach the tail section to the aircraft body, carefully checking the alignment so that your plane flies straight and stable. Now is the time to focus on the control surfaces. On a typical remote-controlled airplane, the main control surfaces are the ailerons on the wings, the elevators 
on the horizontal stabilizer and the rudder on the vertical fin. Cut these surfaces so they can move freely, then attach hinges to them using tape or special model hinges. Connect each control surface to a servo motor with push rods. These small and precise motors convert signals from your remote control into physical movement, allowing you to control the airplane while flying. To generate thrust, most remote controlled airplanes use electric motors. Choose a brushless electric motor that is appropriately sized for your model, securely mounted at the front of the fuselage, or to increase realism, inside a foam model of a jet engine compartment. Attach a suitable propeller to the motor shaft, ensuring it spins freely and is properly balanced. Additionally, some advanced builders use ducted fans to simulate the shape and sound of jet engines, although these require additional power sources and careful installation. The electronic components include the receiver, electronic speed controller, ESC, battery and servo. The receiver receives signals from your remote control transmitter and sends them to the servo and ESC. The ESC adjusts the power from the battery to the motor, allowing you to control the throttle. Choose a lightweight lithium polymer LiPo battery with enough capacity for a few minutes of flight without making the plane too heavy. Secure all electronic components inside the fuselage, keep the wiring neat, and ensure the components are well protected but still easily accessible for charging and maintenance. Before your first flight, perform a thorough pre-flight check. Check each control surface by moving the corresponding control stick on the transmitter and observe the control surfaces on the aircraft. Ensure the motor runs smoothly and the battery is fully charged. Recheck the balance of the aircraft by supporting it at the wing's center of gravity. If the plane tilts nose down or tail down, adjust the battery position or add small weights if necessary. Proper balance is very important for stable flight. Choose a large open area free of obstacles for your first flight. A grassy field or park is ideal. Start with slow, low power taxi tests to ensure the plane rolls straight and responds to controls. When you are ready, gradually increase the throttle and allow the plane to take off. Use gentle, smooth control movements and keep the plane within easy sight. Minor adjustments during the first few flights are normal. Fine-tune the control surfaces and balance settings to, to achieve stable, balanced flight. As your skills improve, you can experiment with more advanced features. Add retractable landing gear for realistic takeoff and landing. Install LED lights for night flying or paint your model with Boeing's official paint colors. The possibilities are only limited by your imagination and dedication. Building a remote-controlled airplane, inspired by Boeing, is not just about assembling a model, but also about understanding the principles of flight, honing craftsmanship skills, and experiencing the thrill of piloting your own creation. Every step, from design and construction to the first successful flight offers an opportunity to learn and grow. With patience, attention to detail, and a passion for aviation, you will breathe the spirit of Boeing into a miniature version, soaring through the sky on wings you made yourself.